voters here in Arlington are going to go to a firehouse caucus to vote for this election. There are many people in this room that would prefer a countywide primary. What's your position on caucus versus primary? As a Democrat, I would like to see as many eligible voters out and voting. And therefore, my preference would be to have a primary so that we have as many eligible voters hitting the polls so that the community is electing your next public servant. So during the discussion when this decision was made, I spoke out publicly in favor of a primary. Um, the Democratic Party is a party of inclusivity. And the future of the party depends on expanding the electorate. I feel that a caucus excludes people. I spoke to a military officer who lives across the street from me who said, Vivek, I really like your vision, but I can't vote for you because I'm moving back in North Carolina on a mission. There's no absolutely valid. And I think we are excluding, and if we, in my view, we should have had a primary because it allows more people to vote. We have early absentee voting. And as a party, we should be expanding the electorate and creating people with different voices and diversity of ideas voting in these elections. So I'm very much in favor of a primary, and I'm disappointed that it's a cause, but that's okay. We're going to make it with what we have. I am very strongly in favor of a primary. I've even written letters to the editors of the Washington Post and the Sun Gazette. Unfortunately, they haven't been published, I guess, <laughs> because I guess, you know, people aren't interested. That's unfortunate. Um, but thousands of people who are going to vote in the already scheduled primary uh, for governor and lieutenant governor are going to effectively be disenfranchised. Some of them, I'm sure, will show up and say, oh, we're the county board. I saw these signs up and I heard about this stuff. Oh, gee, you had to get a secret memo and show up last month for it. I also look at them concerned as Democrats about the optics of it. Okay, to me, ultimately, it is a, vote, a form of voter suppression. So we shouldn't be taking, uh, getting hypocritical, I think about um, Republicans holding conventions if we're going to hold caucuses, firehouse primaries. I am concerned about, as I said, about the optics. A lot of people felt, who supported Senator Sanders in the presidential primaries in 2016, felt that some people had, the DNC had their fingers on the scale. And that, again, is a message that we have to deal with as a party. And I don't think this is the right decision. And it was an open seat. It should have gone as a primary. So when uh, the party made this choice, uh, I didn't have a vote. I'm not on the committee, so did not have a vote. Uh, and the way that I felt at the time was um, uh, if I was going to be running this time around, I was prepared to run either way. And I totally understand the arguments, and, and it's very true that the primary has larger turnout. However, I think it shouldn't go without saying one of the very uh, important aspects of the caucus is the instant runoff voting. And you know, Arlington is a leader in many ways. And we could be a leader in a national movement towards election reform that not only gets out more voters, but also opens up the process, makes it easier for more candidates to run, uh, makes it easier where it, and it encourages campaigns, where we are all up here, uh, and I'll say it, where if I would love to be your number one choice in that instant runoff where you get to rank the candidates. But I'd also like to be your number two if I'm not your number one. I think that's powerful and that's good. I would support a primary with an instant runoff voting feature. And I would support uh, an instant, uh, a caucus with absentee ballot and more advertising and getting people to come out. So we can, it's not an either or to me, we can actually work towards the best of both worlds. And that's what I'm for.